So what I'm going to be doing in this area here is the uh, traditional Native American Three Sisters Garden. Uh, it's called the Three Sisters uh, because it consists of corn, beans, and, and squash. Um, it's planted in hills. I'm not sure how well the hills I made uh, sh show up in the video, but um, according to historical accounts, uh, you know the um, local Native Americans to this region, um, you know, planted in this fashion, and the idea being that the three plants um, you know work together. Uh, the corn grows up. Uh, and the beans um, climb the corn stalks. You know, the corn stalks act as a, as a trellis for the beans. And uh, the squash, which is planted in between the hills, you know, as it grows and the big fan leaves comes out, it shades all the bare ground and, and keeps the, the weeds choked out. So each of the three sisters has their, their job. Um, from the best I've found in my research, uh, you know, this is how it was done. They made hills um, approximately 18 inches across, uh, anywhere from two to four or up to nine feet apart. Um, it varied a bit from region to region. Um, I'm not sure how much this was practiced outside of the Northeast. Um, but uh, pretty much anywhere, you know, Connecticut, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, uh, parts of New York State, um, all, all did it in this way. I've got about half my hills ready for the Three Sister Garden. Um, I thought I'd get them all done today, but uh, it's getting pretty dark out here and the wind's picking up and I hear some thunder rumbling in the distance so uh, I've got half of them so I'm going to go ahead and uh, plant this half and uh, figured I'd you know do a quick uh, video clip okay how I'm going to do this is uh, I'm going to make four holes in the center of my hill for the corn seeds I'm going to make three holes on the, kind of the outside for the bean seeds. Um, another way the beans uh, help the corn is uh, beans have a tendency to um, put nitrogen into the soil. A lot of times I'll plant beans even um, in between when I, where I plant potatoes, you know, for that same reason. Um, so the corn is Roy's Calais flint corn and uh, by High Mowing Seeds. High Mowing is a pretty good company. I've, I've used their seeds before. I had pretty good luck with them. But uh, the significance of this corn is this was derived from Abenaki flint corn, Abenaki Native American flint corn, uh, going back hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, you know, people kept this strain going and uh, the high mowing people, you know, got a hold of it and bred it some more to get the classic attributes. Um, it's pretty colorful, you know, typical Indian corn. Uh, a lot of people grow Indian corn for decoration. Um, we're going to uh, grow it and, and grind it for food. But um, got some thunder in the distance, so let's get our corn in there. So I'll put one kernel in each of the four center holes. And a bean in each of the three outer holes. And we'll bury them up. I usually do both corn and beans uh, approximately three quarters of an inch deep. the dirt down here and uh, they're probably about to get rained on so hopefully I can get uh, the rest of these hills done before it does um, so next will be uh, 
planting the squash. So we taking another video for that. Uh, but for now, we'll get our corn and beans in.